assalamu alaikum dear students today i will brief you how practically seeds are primed with different methods seed priming the term seed priming it was called by melnesi in 1971 and reported by hedeker during 1974 the seed priming is the process used to improve the field performance of the seeds seed priming is the pre-sowing treat- seed treatment that involves the controlled hydration of seeds sufficient to allow pre-germination metabolic event to take place but insufficient to allow radical protrusion through the seed coat after the priming treatment the seed can be dried and used for sowing upon reimbibition the seed return the advancement they achieved during the priming treatment and complete the germination much more rapidly and uniformly In addition the priming can overcome some environmental stresses such as temperature and moisture stresses purpose of seed priming seed priming is done to increase the speed and uniformity of germination particularly under abiotic stress conditions of temperature moisture and salinity conditions principle of seed priming seed germination starts with the imbibition of water by dry seed coat water absorption has three phases in phase 1 rapid absorption of water takes place independent of viability status and metabolic activity of the seeds phase 2 it shows filter absorption of water since the water is saturated however there is some increase in enzyme activation protein synthesis and appearance of mitochondria and dna will take place phase 3 it is also initiated with the rapid water uptake at the radical emergence and elongation occur this results in cell elongation without cell division in this state enzyme activated in phase 2 break down the storage materials like fats proteins carbohydrates and phosphorus containing compounds and transfer them to growing points the duration of priming varies with crop as well as the matter of priming that it allow for first and second phase of seed imbibition without allowing for radical protrusion the seed in, involves allowing the seed to absorb sufficient water to initiate metabolic process but insufficient water to allow completion of germination after the priming period seed can be dried stored or marketed it is improving the rate and uniformity for germination different different methods of priming 
hydroprimate soaking the seeds in water and redrying is termed as hydropriming the potential danger for the usage of osmotic of low and high molecular weight is avoided for example soaking the wheat seeds in water prior to sowing hello priming soaking the seeds in in concentrated salt solutions with the low water potential for example potassium nitrate potassium dihydrogen phosphate and other salts and redrying it osmo priming soaking the seeds in osmotic of low water potential solution for example polyethylene glycol and redrying this applied polyethylene glycol is chemically inert high molecular weight 6000 to 8000 da unlike the lower molecular weight that does not penetrate cell wall bio priming soaking the seeds with biological agents like bacteria and also soaking in warm water solid matrix priming this consists of mixing the seeds with an organic and inorganic carrier and water for a period of time the moisture content of matrix is allowed to a level just below the water required if uh, for radical protrusion seed water potential is regulated by metric potential of the seed during priming the water is held by the carrier the seed can imbibe water from the carrier only till the equilibrium is reached drum priming subjecting the seeds to water mist unlike uh, while rotating seeds in drum don't allowing the